Hello, and uh, we're back with another episode of King Cole TV. And uh, on this occasion, what we're going to be talking about is uh, the latest yarn release from uh, King Cole, and that is Forest Aaron. Now, this is something that we're all quite excited about here. Um, and um, as you can tell from the name, it's an Aaron weight yarn. Um, and the reason we're so excited is because this is a 100% recycled uh, product. Um, and what that means is it's not come from anything um, un, um, natural, not related to knitting. This is recycled um, from old jumpers or um, yarn ends or plastic bottles. But before we go into that in a bit more detail, I'll just run through what shades we have, what the pattern support's like, and um, what uh, another exciting thing which I've got around me at the moment. Um, um, for us to talk about. So we have 10 uh, new shades and by Forest Aaron they're all quite, um, I, hate, I don't like the word muted, um, but they're unsaturated and quite earthy shades. So we have up here three, uh, no, six, Ooh, can't count, <laughs> um, um, and they're all named after different forests in the UK. So here we have Sherwood Forest, um, Grisdale, Avondale and Hartwood. And so these will probably be familiar to some of you. And um, I live in the Forest of Boland and I missed the trick by um, when we were naming these not to actually name one the Forest of Boland. So I'm a bit disappointed about that, um, but never mind. And here we have Wire Forest, Gisborne Forest, Epping Forest, Balvane Woods, Forest of Dean, and this blue one in the middle at the bottom is called Kielder Forest. So these are forests all over the UK and um, I'd love to say that the um, colour reflects the area um, but um, no, that's not, that's not the case. Um, but the reason we named it Forest is for the reason that it is recycled and this is the very earthy, natural colours that you would find in wooded areas. You have your bluebells, forget-me-nots, uh, autumnal leaves and um, flowers and wildlife in general. So what we have is a really good pattern support. This pattern support is from my experience at King Cole by far the best. It's very stylish, um, very timeless and albeit simple. So the first one we have is this kind of open neck v-neck cardigan um, or waistcoat or jacket um, depending on how you um, view these things um, not normally we put easy knits at the top this isn't uh, described as an easy knit but if you look at the start it's very simplistic also we have a men's pattern coming out so these are range from 5656 to 5661 uh, uh, i believe um, and then tabards another ladies pattern and uh, a jacket this is look at this this is a really cool pattern um, it's got this cabling coming up the side here um, and the kind of long long line uh, look it's um, she looks very tall um, but uh, I think she's quite short like I am um, and then there's also another jacket um, in there but what's another thing about this yarn is that not only does it lend itself to garments um, but it also is really good for accessories. So what we have up here is a lovely cushion cover with a big chunky cable, um, which we think is fantastic. Uh, so this is in the Sherwood Forest, quite dark, um, quite a dark um, shade, whereas in comparison to the other pink here, um, it's uh, the same cushion as well. Another thing we have is cushion, cushion covers and pom-poms. Pom-poms are very in. They're not the, in my opinion, they're not the most manly, um, but would I have one in my house? Absolutely. Pom-poms are really good fun. Um, and this is so soft. I, I love the way this yarn feels. Um, you pick it up, but, but when you pick up the ball, um, it feels amazing. It's, it's kind of, uh, I don't really know how to describe it, but it changes as you knit it up. So the, diff the feel in the ball, I'm gonna pick it up in the shop and you think, oh, that feels great. Going to finish your garment knit project 
and then it's, it just feels so light and uh, I, I, I don't have the words, I'm speechless, um, shall we say. The other thing we have is the ball band um, and what I think we've done really well with this ball band because it works so well with all the colours where, but also gives off a quite a, a mystical feel. We've got this uh, forest in the ball band in like kind of misty setting and uh, this quite cool scriptic writing. Um, so it's a really good addition to uh, your shop or shelf. What you probably can't see from, because we're so far away, is that actually the yarn is also flecked quite subtly with different um, colours in the yarn. So we've got your or orange, blue, yellow and some white. And so it's something that you appreciate from far away, but as you're getting closer, you're, you're seeing more about it, um, which is a really good aspect. And I think, I hope you guys will love it as much as we do. So we're going to the recycling aspect now. Um, and the most common plastic in the UK is PET, polyethylene, um, I wrote it down, terephthalate, and that is what is used in plastic bottles. So what we do um, is spit and grind these down or shred them and then because um, plastic is very ductile you can draw it out into long lengths and it can be spun. However these aren't purely um, plastic, they're made from old jumpers, um, spinning ends and it's a real combination of different things and we're committed to our um, to the environmental impact that yarn is having. And so a lot of, sometimes there can be quite a bit of waste uh, from spinning ends um, and as yarn comes to the end of the spindle um, you could have 100 meters left over. We're now using um, and utilizing these spinning wastes and putting it back into production to create Forest Aaron. Now what's more, most exciting um, about this release is the, oh, the uh, release, again, I can't find a better word, of a complementary pattern, which you can see here. What we mean by complementary is that you can download it from our website for absolutely, for, for no cost. Um, it's this ripple pattern, it's knitted. I have a smaller version just here. And it's fantastic. This was um, one of our brilliant pattern administrator, Joanne, um, designed this. And it's a ripple pattern wave. And the, this is the small version. The large version to my left um, uses one ball of each shade um, and two balls of the darker pink, which is Sherwood Forest. Very simple pattern. Um, we've got, actually got a YouTube video um, out already. If you just follow the video, um, if you're not sure about the pattern, and um, you'll get this really cool effect. Um, another great thing is that we're bringing out a um, crochet pattern as well. It's not going to look exactly the same. The, the ripple is a, a little bit shallower, um, but we're accommodating for all of our knitting community. And for those eagle eyes amongst you, you may have noticed other garments around me, um, which we will talk about um, perhaps next week. I don't want to bore you with two videos in one week. Um, and um, that's all we're going to cover for today. Um, I think I got through everything I was supposed to. Um, if you have any questions, um, please drop us a, um, a comment down below. And we'll get back to you as soon as I can. I've just got to walk to my desk um, just down the hall. And thank you for watching. And um, please give us a like on Facebook if you haven't done so already. Bye-bye.